We've been banding fertilizer at the PTI farm with the use of strip till, and we've seen that we can reduce the amount of fertilizer we're putting on since we're so efficient and being in that band right under that corn plant or soybean plant. And we've seen that we can reduce 50% of some of our applications right now. Now, some of that is we've got sufficient soil test levels in the soil. We built those up over time. We feel good about that. The other part of this is just the high cost of fertilizer where it's just not giving me the biggest bang for my buck. So I just don't, I mean, DAP right now, $900 a ton. I just don't know that that's gonna be real profitable. Our calculations, we put on 250 pounds of DAP, 250 pounds of potash. We need 50, over 50 bushel of corn just to break even. And I just, with the budgets that we're looking at today, I just don't see how that's, that's plausible. So we're strip tilling, we're banding, and I feel really comfortable that we can you know, shave that rate of fertilizer on most soils where we've got good soil test levels in half. And I think that's some considerable savings for a farmer. Early planted corn, I know everybody wants to get in, get acres done fast. With soybeans, we can get in and plant early with a very low risk. Corn, however, our data would say over the last seven years that conditions have to be about perfect for corn on the early side. The risk reward ratio is a little off on planting corn too early. We've shown that we can plant corn a little bit later without suffering yield loss, but those early planted uh, dates in, in late March or even in the first of April, they've been really suspect and uh, we just haven't been fit and corn has responded with yield losses.